Okay, I want to make it clear here that I'm not accusing Clay Clark of doing anything or being anything. I am doing some research on him because he's playing a big, big part right now. And uh, I don't trust quite a few of the people involved in the uh, uh, Rise America thing that they're doing at uh, Victory Christian Center, which belongs to Ken Kenneth Copeland. I'm just, I'm trying to find the truth because God is not the author of confusion. And uh, I wouldn't say I'm exactly confused. I am a little befuzzled <laughs> because I am finding so many connections. And I'm not doing this to, to judge a fellow follower of Jesus Christ. You know, we're, we're not supposed to do that. But we are to look, we are to judge people by their fruits. And we are to learn to discern between good and evil. And we also know that Jesus said that Satan himself would, would be transformed as an angel of light. And that's what they call him, Lucifer, the light bearer. This Luciferian movement. And the New Age movement has put its tentacles into everything on the face of the earth. It came straight out of Babylon. And it's satanically led. They have many Christs. They have Krishna. They have Bhattavista. I can't pronounce all the names. Shiva. All these Eastern religions. Uh, Hinduism. Buddha. Brahma. Um... Oh, they have many names. They have many names. Um, Kelly. Kelly. Uh, they have all kinds of Christ. Even even uh, General Flynn talked about the seven rays of light, you know, the which means the seven ways to God. The seven ascended masters. And most of you have seen that video of, of General Flynn on Kenneth Copeland's stage. Uh advising people to, you know, calling on Michael the Archangel and all of his legions, and then talking about the seven rays. Um, it just, it's all too troubling. And knowing that one of the, the major New Age um, guru leaders is Sasha Stone. And these are all involved with this movement that Clay Clark is hosting. He sounds like a carnival broker when he gets out there. And here's Johnny. You know, just real crazy sounding stuff. These people are taught to deceive true Christians. And they are drawing millions of them. I have to do something. I have to say something. I have to. And um, you hear my little puppy snoring in the background there. He gets loud. So I just, I just want you to know that. But I came across this picture tonight. And then I checked it out because I got it from this website that I'm going to read here. And I'm not saying that I agree with this guy. I don't know who it is. I just found it on Reddit. It's where I found the picture. And then I went to, you know the bookstores and stuff, and this is a real picture. I thought, well, maybe they just photoshopped it. You know, maybe they took one of his pictures and made this, you know. But no, it's it's the real deal. And if you can see there, it's Clay Clark on the air. And down in the left-hand corner is the 13 proven steps to business success. Why 13? Why an odd number like that? I'm just asking you, do you know what that means or what it could mean? It could just be 13, you decide to have 13 proven steps, but it's also a satanic number and that's the number of people in a coven. The new age has their, their 12 uh, divine uh, beings who make up the leaders of the world. They copy this out of the Bible you know, from the 12 apostles, 
12 disciples. Numbers are a big thing to them. I don't like to use numerology. And I noticed that uh, the QAnon movement did a lot of, or do a lot of, numerology, gematria, and stuff. And I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I don't know. Numbers are all through the Bible. But you know, Satan has counterfeited everything. Everything that's good. He probably knows the Bible more than, better than any of us do. And you know that he, the word Satan itself means the enemy of God. You know that Satan himself took Jesus to the wilderness for 40 days, or he went there. Jesus went to the wilderness. And Satan offered him, showed him all the wealth and the, the powers and everything of the world. He said, all these things I will give to you if you will bow down and worship me. And why did he say that? It's because he is the God of this world. And he's been at this a long, long time. And he's out to devour the woman and her child. The woman is the church and the, the she's getting ready to give birth to the man child, the bride, whatever you want to call it. And uh, of course it says that a great eagle, you know, took the woman into the wilderness for a certain time while these other plagues and everything took over the world. So I, I'm not here to teach doctrine. I'm just here to give you something to think about before you throw your hat in the ring with this, is it Rise America or American something tour? So I, I just want you to think. You have to look at the fruits of these people. Why would he allow this? I mean, does he just not know any better? Maybe. Maybe his producers did it and he just thought it was funny because he's very tries to be funny. I don't think he's funny, but he tries to be. So the guy that posted this on Reddit, you know, said he must be a Satanist and all that. So I'm not saying that. I'm just reading what he said. I'm not, I haven't gotten that far into this, but he not only uses this, he also uses the pyramid, the all seeing eye. And there's the eye of providence on his left eye there. So like I said, I don't know if they've done that to him. Maybe he's an MK Ultra survivor. I don't know. So, here goes. This is by Saturn Storm Cube five months ago. Posted by Menorah Man 100 on Reddit. Reawaken America founder Clay Clark is a Freemasonic Satanist. Hmm. He's shown with the infamous Eye of Horus, the Masonic Pyramid, and Cirrus, and is promoting the Masonic Champion through the QAnon deceptions to the unvaccinated Christians and Jews.